Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about manage phone numbers. Microsoft Teams includes cloud voice capabilities that are delivered from Office 365 and provide private branch exchange or PBX functionality. Phone system in Microsoft Teams allow users to place and receive calls, transfer calls, and mute or unmute calls. Within Microsoft Phone system, calls between users in your organization are handled internally. However, to enable calls to landlines and mobile phones, phone system must be connected to the PSTN and PSTN connection can be established in two ways. Calling plan and direct routing. Establish and receive calls directly through your Office 365 phone system as a telephony provider by purchasing Microsoft calling plan. This include both domestic or domestic and international for Office 365. In direct routing, you can connect your current on-premises PBX infrastructure with the Office 365 phone system by using direct routing. Licensed users can call out to numbers located in the country or region where they are assigned in their Office 365. On the domestic and international calling plan, licensed users can call out to numbers located in the country or region where their Office 365 license is assigned to the user based on the user location and to the international number in the supported country or regions. You must meet these following infrastructure requirements to deploy a direct routing solution in your organization. Before you can assign phone numbers to the users or services in your organization, you must first get the phone numbers. There are three ways you can get the phone number. Using the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, go to your existing number, and use a request form for new numbers. For some countries or regions, you can get numbers for your users using the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. You can port or transfer existing numbers from your current service provider or phone carrier. Finally, depending on your country or region, you may not be able to get your new number using Microsoft Teams Admin Center or you will need a specific phone number or area codes. In either case, you will need to download a form, complete it and return it to Microsoft. There are two types of phone number, user number and service number. User numbers can be assigned to users in your organization for calling purposes. Service numbers are assigned to services such as audio conferencing, auto attendance and call queues. Let's go to the Teams Admin Center and find out how to get new phone numbers in the Teams Admin Center. You can go under Voice and click on Phone Numbers. If you have added any number, you will be able to see over here or you can click on Port to port a new number or you can simply add and select the country, region, number type, Call queue, auto attendant, dedicated conference bridge, and provide the rest of the details to add a new number within your phone system. An emergency location may be referred to as a civic address, street address, or physical address. An emergency location is associated with a place to give you a more exact location within a building. A place is typically a floor, building wing, or an office number where the user is located. When adding emergency location for your organization, it is recommended that you follow the steps like plan for emergency location, add emergency location, and get phone number. And finally, assign phone numbers. Please note that take extra care when configuring and maintaining your organizational emergency location as they can literally impact the life or death of your employees. 
Several countries or regions have strict law that require company to ensure the availability of an emergency phone number in the event of an accident. Let's go and show you how to add emergency address on the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. So I am in my Teams Admin Center. Go under Locations. Click on Emergency Address. This is where you would be able to add a new emergency address for your tenant. Pick a country and fill out the details with all the valid information. After you have finished setting up a calling plan in your organization, you must assign phone numbers to your users. You can also manage and remove users' phone number if need be. So let me show you where you can add phone numbers for your users. I'm in my Teams Admin Center. Go under Voice. And this time, you're going to select phone numbers. I don't have any number added for a user, but this is where you can come and add a user phone number and you can find out who you assign to. And once you have assigned a number, then you can go back to a user and click on a particular user. And under the account tab, this is where you would be able to see the information and you can modify the number as well. Voice setting for users include call sharing and group call pickup feature for Microsoft Teams, which let users share their incoming calls with colleagues so that their colleagues can answer calls that occur while the user is unavailable. You can modify the voice settings and you can view the details over here in the Teams Admin Center. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about managing phone system. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.